try and punish Ooh. the Darius. Okay, so Nuke saying, look, I can burst this out. I can get the pressure. Double AD carry now on the side of BDS. They will melt towers if they're left alone for too long. However, there's Maple and Nuke now moving back down towards this dragon. It's the first dragon of the game, and we know how much BDS love their dragons. There is the Weaver's Wall coming straight out. They're gonna try and jump in, but a knockback from Wo onto Woody means that he goes down, but it's a first blood. Dragon stolen by BDS as we got the resets coming in maybe for Nuke as Wacko has to flash away straight away as he realizes he can't take this fight. Neither can Junja as he looks to try and trade it back, but Nuke gets himself a double. He wants to, you do not have your support, and they will back that one away. So Adam saw Tilly in the flank. I was hoping for a wall Adam. in. He wants that ghost play. He does get the stride breaker, gets a little bit of damage out, trying to get those stacks up, brings down the ult. BDS for his hyper carry, or not hyper carry, but his very aggressive carry play style. Oh, Shao just turned and burned onto that one. He was like, all right, we can take this fight. There's a the cataclysm. The knockback is good for Junja. So I actually think he was in a bad situation there. As you can see, PSG realizing they were just going to lose a tower. Themselves the bot turret, but they also got themselves a second dragon. Doesn't mean though that. Surely will knock over this turret in the mid lane. So PSG finally back on the front foot in terms of the objective trades and looking to try and make sure they're not just losing out around the map. No, dead even in gold. Red Team, uh, Adam finished off his second turret, will put them back slightly. more valuable later on. Now PSG, they find themselves in enemy territory. Flash forward though, triple man knock up as Junja gets punted right back into the arms of Adam. He does get the flag and drag away. Nice flick back as well from the Talia. Now Kai Ultimate does stop down Woody and there is one more kill. BDS. Build level, obviously the LFL mm -hmm. is, a, is a beast of its own, to be perfectly honest. But flash oh, in, the upper hand, they found Wako, and he is dead. Oh, the Nar nowhere near getting up towards Mega, not quite able to get himself the Labrov flick back, but they will be able to get themselves the Baron secured. Now, can Labrov get away from this without dying? No, he cannot. They lose one. Nuke going in a little bit aggressively. They do get him back on top of this one, and he is shut down. Two kills to one. The Baron Nuke just getting a little too crazy there. Had his flash up. Maybe thinking, hey, if I can get my Eve reset. There have been quite a few, but usually it's at least sided one way. This time it is BDS slightly favorite. They're able to grab this turret now. Up, back, quite up for another 15 or 20 seconds. Oh, Shale gonna throw out Nature's Grasp as they do catch out there onto Junja, who able to tank it out. And that's what you like. It's you just kind of, that's just how it is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, either way, I think BDS is feeling very, very Just because they're not going towards the Dragon, they're actually moving towards the Baron instead. There's the upper hand, but it's on the Junja. Use the Star Breaker, but Adam gets caught back a little bit on the back side of this. Oh. A lot of damage. It's a lot of rocks to the back of the head. Wacko finishes him off, and Adam. Here we go, 6,000 HP. Shale drops down the ultimate. He needs to get into the pit. He goes in. Not quite able to steal it. It goes over to PSG. AG goes into immediate stasis and flies. Flashes away. To join in once it does happen. In fact, PSG just says, screw the Baron, or Dragon, yeah. excuse me. We're going to go start pushing these waves out topside, and they have mid push. Now. There could be a big Shale. flank coming in. Shao will have his ultimate very soon, but not quite just yet. Picks up the blue book. He's getting his items. He's having a proper front line. And we talked about flubbed engages from PSG getting melted by double AD carry. Same thing is yes, true. We, we kind of criticized the Crown of the Shadow Queen because it's very much a defensive item, but he's got damage now available to him alongside that Shadow Flame. So this is becoming harder and harder for BDS. We talked about it, how they were on the precipice of getting themselves a reverse sweep. They still had work to do, though. If we've learned anything, though, about playing thus far, don't catch chickens before they hatch. Ninja, half his HP there just is gone. BDS are still being coerced backwards. It's a four item Zeri. Another fantastic Weaver's Wall just separates anyone out. Actually, I take that back. Actually, stops the entirety of PSG from maybe going for a play, which is a little unfortunate, but the idea was there. Now, Shao on a little bit of a flank, maybe looking to try and go for something here. Here we go. Labrov goes in. They're going to try and burst out somebody here. The front line cannot stand tall as Aja falls down first. BDS. I don't think he knows anyone's coming up here. I don't think he knows that everybody is here. And now he's going to get jumped on, flicked back, CC'd into oblivion. No but he's not got Wako, so he's not getting taken down the upper hand comes back in there the cataclysm is. is down finally the dps is here but now nuke and crowny dragons maybe seven if we get that far but this game burning it and that's going to burn down so quickly junja has to get down top of this there's a cataclysm but junja can't join back on top of this one flash away by adam as the baron goes down perfectly done by bds but can they get anything else labrov on the flank looking for a little bit more but just gets stunned right off the w of the of the talia they have to reset though super minions are pushing in the bot side it's a good move from bds but it can turn into a terrible one if they don't get out alive we'll have to see if they can get a clean recall off here one is out in crowny but the rest are being chased down oh nice punt backwards the flashing 
with the Magnet Storm. They're going to jump down onto Adam. Getting out with only one death would be very nice indeed. Aja trying to move forward on top of this. Does get the ultimate down on top of Shale. That's another staggered death timer. As you can see, Crowny was the one to deal with the Super Minions. Now Labrov trying to just be the hero for his team as he gets taken out. It took too long for them to clear out. A couple of people coming back in about 15 they seconds or so. End, they uh, might try and they, they don't have minions. And they will be cleared out fairly quickly, so I don't think they're going to be able to end, but that's two inhibitors down. This Baron, Red Bull Baron power play will be PSG, five man strong. Lavrov moving in to try and find some kind of a flank. He has been spotted by Maple and immediately has to go into his ultimate. Junge is in the pit, and now they have to try and burn down this dragon before he can. No, Soul confirmed for BDS. Now they got this Moonlight Vigil completely. Can he get one more big play? He's looking for it. He may be able to hex flash over the wall. Woody might be the target. Lavrov does kind of get spotted out a little bit now. You can see the lightning crash comes down. Junja goes completely hayward. Aja, it's dead, and now the reset can come in. Waco needs to run away, but he's sliding down. He has a stopwatch, but he's on so little HP. BDS are doing it. BDS are killing them, and BDS will complete it. Quadra kill for Nuke. Be damned your curses. Be damned your expectations. BDS are going to Swiss. They've done it! The reverse sweep by BDS! The redemption from falling at the hands of Mad Lions in Spring Split, able to make the main stage of Worlds! There has only been two previous reverse sweeps at Worlds. This will be the third, and it will be the first for LEC. Heavy is the head that wears the crown, and BDS are going to the main stage. The absolute elation 